Fairfield Christian School family. Hope you guys are all doing well. Can't believe it's already Thursday, April the 3rd time, just passing quickly, quickly. Uh, today, I want to talk to you real quickly about stress. You know, we adults understand what that word is like, trying to balance our jobs, our families, our interests, our uh, church life, uh, maybe hobbies, sports with the kids, dropping them off at school, daycare perhaps, you know, all those things. Uh, a lack of sleep and stress can get to us pretty easy. And, you know, ever since my, my cardiac arrest on, uh, on New Year's Eve, I wouldn't say that my life has instantly been different. Uh, but in many ways it has and although I still have my moments and I still get stressed out every now and then uh, I have realized that once I'm done being all stressed out and crazy about things uh, Nothing changes except my blood pressure goes up. I stress out the people around me when I come down off the stress mountain I uh, I still have the same issues to deal with why am I talking about that? Well one I think we all need a reminder as adults but secondly, you know, our kids are under that same stress as well. They've got culture pulling at them. They've got their demands of school. They've got uh, your demands on them. Perhaps their room isn't quite as clean as it should be. Uh, of course, church, maybe youth group, maybe sports, other, you know, hobbies, activities. And they're not adults. And they are not used to managing stress like we are. Not that we necessarily always manage it well, but at least we've got more experience doing it. And I want you to know that uh, we believe in strong academics, all those things, and when kids get behind or they're struggling in school, things get a little hectic and stressful. But at the end of the day, uh, they're still kids. And the most important thing in their life is a strong relationship with mom and dad that is positive and encouraging. And uh, you know, school to, we'll, we'll get school handled. But I just wanted to remind you, remind all of us, that uh, as much difficulty as we have balancing the stress out in our life, uh, they have a lot of things pulling at them as well, and they're not used to dealing with it. So a good, strong word to myself, to our teachers, to you, uh, to remind us all to be an encouraging force in our kids' lives, to teach them how to balance stress, how to handle expectations when they're unfulfilled, especially in themselves. Maybe they don't achieve what they were going to achieve by a certain deadline, and they fail in their own eyes, and teaching them how to deal with that. Those are the lessons that's going to stay with them long after geography and biology are gone. Yes, they're important, but we want to raise students up in our school that are prepared to encounter life and be successful, not just in their spiritual walk, which is most important, but as fathers and mothers and parents, and, you know, husbands, wives, uh, you know, church leaders, all those things. So uh, just, a, just a word to us today. Let's all relax a little bit. Let's all remember that God has this. It's in his hands. Nothing's stressing him out. And uh, if he's got us, he's got our back, then we're going to be okay. So thank you for allowing us to invest in your children. Thank you for listening to me every Thursday and for taking my gentle and sometimes not so gentle reminders about what I feel like God would have me share with you. So until next Thursday, God bless you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.